Clarissa Chun, what an amazing day, huh? Yeah. Could you talk a little bit of how this team pulled this off? Oh, man. Every one of them, right, wrestled to the best they could, you know, over the last two days. And it's not easy, you know, when you have 15 going in and all 15 want to go after it to stand on top of that podium. Um, it's, it really is a special team that pushes each other, loves each other, and supports each other. And this national tournament is not easy. There's a lot of competitive and tough com wrestlers, student athletes, competitors from all across the country. And really, I don't know, they just wrestled, you know, just, just like everyone else. And the chips fell in our favor, and we made it happen. So. Well, on the big stage, you guys didn't have a big margin of error. And you got the girls kept stepping up in big matches. Yeah. I mean, did you see that coming this season as they got better and better? They keep proving us time and time again that our women can rise. That's that's truly it. It's in the moments when the lights are on in Carver, they rose. In the moments of even our first competition last year with our 15, we brought seven and they all made it to the finals. Like they are women, just know how to compete, and they're truly special. Yeah. So they picked 170 as the last match, and uh, you know it ended up going to the last match, right? Yeah. Talk about Lelker. I mean, she's oh, gotta be somebody that's got a special place. Yeah. Absolutely, Kylie's amazing. You know, I, you know, I keep being reflective on the opportunity to recruit her. You know, and that. It is truly special that she was the first commit, you know, recruit to Iowa and because she's special, right? She could have gone anywhere she wanted. She could have gone to the OTC. She could have gone to Army. She could have gone to any college program she wanted to. And I'm so grateful that she chose Iowa. And, you know, we told her we're here to help her flourish and grow through, through her college like season. Through the, for the Olympic trials, you know, and this is, this is, sorry, and this is what it was about, right? Finding ways to continue to help her grow and develop through the college system, you know, and a match like Elena McCoy is, is a great test, right? She's a tough senior level competitor, and for her to win it in the fashion that she did, it shows that she, she's putting in the work and doing it the right way. Talk about North Central. I mean, no champion wins without that kind of a challenge, huh? Absolutely. I mean, shoot, like you said, it was a half a point difference going into the final. We knew that if Yale won that match, then our chances would have been not, right? So, who knew, who, like, that? they're tough, right? They're, they're reigning last year's national champions for a reason. They got veteran competitors they're great coaching staff you know they bring great energy great culture and this is just only going to elevate women's wrestling across the country and it's exciting it's it's nothing to sit on our heels on you know we still got a lot of work to do um and that's always that's always what it is you know and we love what we do and that's that's what keep us going being at a school like iowa with such a storied history in wrestling what does this mean to you, to your coaches, to your wrestlers, to be a part of this first national championship for Iowa women's wrestling? I know, oh my gosh. Like, honestly, couldn't have been more grateful that the University of Iowa took a chance on women's wrestling, you know, and gave us the opportunity to be able to have a, have a you know, showcase, you know, uh, for the institution, right? Uh, Iowa's amazing. Everyone there is very supportive. Our, our rowing coach was here, you know, um, in support of watching our women compete, you know. He's like, really, the, everyone in the athletic department is so behind us, and I couldn't, um, I couldn't be more grateful with the fan base, the family, the, and everything that Iowa is about wrestling. What message do you think this sends to the other Power Five conferences and getting them to invest in women's wrestling and bring it into their program? Yeah, absolutely. If you watch, there's a lot of great 
strong, competitive women that want to compete in women's wrestling, and it continues to grow and it continues to get better and better each year. And that they give them an opportunity, right? Like, if you build that program, they will come. They will come knocking down doors, and you know, our everyone wants to see an Iowa versus any Power Five conference, you know. Um, but yeah, I can't wait for the next Power Five conference, like big institution that gets going. So.